and I boot for you. An errand for Koopa Koot, huh? Too bad for you. Koopa Koot's been known to use people, you know? His motto is if it moves, use it until it drops. He got in a couple of fights over his personality way back when, after one really bad one he started traveling a lot. This is a photo of us when we pass through these parts. Take this and say hello to Koopa Koot for me. Old photo. Okay. If this fix you of a young Koopa Koot, he wants this. Alright. So, apparently it was that. It was that boo, which luckily I decided to talk to on a random whim, hoping that I didn't have to go to the, either the basement or basement or attic. Which luckily I was right about. Also, I just went the wrong way. If you head east, then you can get back to the old place. And now that I'm back here with this picture. Great Gwomp and Koalas! I'm in awe of you, Mario! All these days of me youth! Just look at me there, so young and vibrant! There was the Sutter Gorgers, lovely, the passion, maddening as fast as I never looked back. Anyway, enough of that. Take this as a token of my thanks. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. You got one coin for her? Yay. Well then, young foe, I don't usually ask for favors, but I really haven't had a good taste of meal in, in a Goomba's age. Miss Tasty Coop Pasta would really hit the spot right about. I forgot about that. I'm hoping I still have one inside the shop. Just one moment. All right, and now that I have the Coop Pasta. Plumney Paragoombas, you're a man of action, Mario. This looks simply delicious. I swear nobody should cook this dish besides Tasty. She, she perfected the recipe? Yeah. Here's a little token of my gratitude. Oh, you don't have to be so polite. Yeah, I wasted two coins. So great. Well then, young fellow, I don't usually ask for favors, but I seem to have misplaced my glasses, which is vexing. I suppose I must have dropped them somewhere. I've never seen you wear glasses before. I haven't gone beyond the border of the Koopa Village, so logic suggests that they're somewhere in the village. Could you... Could you drop what you're doing and find them? I hope your work. What? Could you drop what you're doing and find them for me? Because I'm a lazy little bum. Alright. Um. That's where Koopa Leaf is. Not in there. Not in there either. Maybe in this tree? Not in that tree. In. Okay. Found him in that bush right there. Now, if we head back up to Koopa Koop, we'll be able to deliver these, and I have a feeling like we're not getting anything for it, which kind of sucks. Hoping, pumping, and hurt plants. Yeah, Master Sleuth Mario, my estate's really gone downhill the last few years. Now I can once again read books without any trouble. Technology is great, isn't it? Here, I'll give you this show to my gratitude. One coin. Whatever. I've really been dragging my shell recently. I need a tart to pick me up. Let's see. Oh, I know a fresh lime would do the trick. Can you go find one? Hurry up if you could. I could. Uh... All right. I don't. I don't have any limes on me. So to dry, dry outpost. So if you just head out here to dry, dry outpost, it's not even that far or anything. It's a pretty simple uh, ride or walk, either one, depending on what point in the game you're doing this. I think you can do these quests as early as like chapter four I'm gonna say chapter four but I'm not positive on that so after chapter four you can come down here I should have like known one of these would be useful that's the lemon if you get up here hit this tree and you can get a line it's not difficult it's a short trip it's not a problem but yeah I forgot the fact that I needed to do it right about now anyway to do this entire quest, so it's not a problem that I did this so late in the game. Because if I do it from here onwards, then, well, I'll be able to do the entire thing in one go, so it's nice. <laughs> so now we just talk to Koopa Koop, give him the line. Spikes! Spiny spikes! Are you for real, Mario? Mind-blowing crazy! <laughs> yeah, what a sour lime! This'll put a spring in my step! You're a stand-up guy for doing old Koopa so many favors! This time I'll give you the special gift of thanks! Don't tell anyone, though, of the repu reputation to keep! Oh, what luck! You came at the perfect timing! Oh, how very kind of you! I guess the younger generation is so bad at all! Favors! I recently heard about a snack called a Cookie Cookie! Okay. Oh, green is a Koopa Leaf, but I have no idea what the other one is. Hurry if you can, I need sweet. Okay. So, if you head all the way 
Okay, you can either get a Koopa Leaf and a uh, Cake Mix, I think it is. But I think I have one in here. If I don't, then I'll have to go make it myself, which will kind of suck because I've already made one before, but you know. I have the Yoshi cookie. No cookie co cookie cookie. Dang it. And now that we have a cookie cookie. Lines of albino dinos, you're world class, Mario. So this is the cookie everyone raves about. <laughs> it does look good. I think I'll save it for later. I'll give you this co gift to show you my gratitude. Oh, you don't have to one coin. Yeah, of course. This is one thing I have an old Boo friend who lives in Gusty Gulch. Can you go and get a package from him? You may have a little trouble finding him since the Boos there are pretty similar, but I'm sure you can do it though. A long time ago when Goomba Butler and Bootler and I were traveling, we met the Boo and became fast friends. He recently sent me a letter saying that there was a package there that addressed to me. Or what are you waiting for? Go and get it. I mean, please? You're becoming rude. I... Honestly, this guy's a dick. This, this guy, the only reason people say anything bad is because A, he's a cheapskate, and B, he uses that fact. He doesn't like being liked. He doesn't, he's, he's a dick. Oh. Oh, hello, you're running around for uh, errands. Oh, oh, uh, no, where did I, I wasn't really ready for this. Where did I leave that thing? I better go look for it. Uh, do you think you can just wait here for a second? I should find it soon enough, so I don't kill some time by wandering around here. Do I talk to people? Pardon me, Mario. Brawl! Oh yeah, another score. Boy, nobody scares people like that boo. Wow, such a flawless appearance. It takes my breath away. Actually, if we're sw swimming hairs, I'm a ghost. So I don't actually breathe. Thank you for waiting, heart. Finally found it. I can't believe it took me so long to track it down. Anyway, please give my regards to Koopa Koo, eh? Okay, got the package. Apparently, I just need to talk to the guy and get spooked. Oh no, not spooked! Ah! But now that I'm heading back this way... Live it off, I promise! You real Mario! Ah yes, this is the package I requested! Ever since my boo friend sent me that letter, I've been dying to know what's inside. Well, I'll find out right now after you leave. Here, take this as thanks. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella! I have a feeling like you bought a dildo. Oh, what luck! You came at the perfect time! People keep talking something about a coconut. They say they're delicious, I just have to try one. Go right away and... Okay. He just really wanted to get rid of me so he could try out that dildo. Alright, if you come back here to Yoshi Island, or... Well, it's not Yoshi Island, I guess. It's, uh... It's, let's see, it has Melt Level Lava on it. What's that actually called? I'm forgetting this area of the game, so that means I need to check. That's a bad thing. Alright, I'm at Yoshi's Village, near the Jade Jungle, on Mount Lava. I don't know the name of the island. I really don't. Does it ever get a name? I know... Alright guys, back. Sorry about the little cut there, I saw uh, Chuck Wismo. Great out uh, crawling clefts! You're larger than life, Mario! Hmm, how do you crack this thing? Huh, I guess I'll try it later. I'll give you this, show to my gra this to show my gratitude. A single coin. Yeah, pretty much. Well, then, young fellow, I don't really ask for favors, but I wouldn't mind getting one of those red jars that they say were made in Dry Dry Desert's ancient desert kingdom. According to popular opinion, you can get one if you buy things in certain order at the shop in Dry Dry Outpost. First, you buy a dusty hammer, then you go ahead and buy a dried pasta, then, er, you get another dusty hammer. Dusty hammer, dried pasta, dusty hammer. And then, let me see, hang on, I forgot the other thing. Uh, I will you have to figure out the rest. But do hurry, we really want one is... is really? Okay, you buy a dusty hammer, dried pasta, dusty hammer, and then I'm gonna guess a. Just a minute. Dusty hammer, dried pasta, dusty hammer, dried shroom. Whoa! Blank goods in that order! It's a secret sign! It was written in an ancient will! In keeping with the will, I'm required to give you this! Please take it! The red jar. And just like that, we've got the red jar. You could have actually picked up this item at any point. It's only useful for that quest, and really, you could have had it on you for the beginning of the quest. And just gotten this far. 
Now, giving him the red jar. Swoopin' Sky, guys, you're a true workhorse, Mario. Incredible, outstanding. Ew, it's a little filthy, though. I suppose I'll add it to my collection anyway. You're a standout guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. This time, I'll give you special things, special gift of things. Don't tell anybody, though. I've got a reputation to keep. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. Three star pieces. You're a good soul for helping this Koopa so many times. Now, Mario, I have one last favor to ask. That cat, Bowser. You must defeat that evil King Bowser once and for all. This dear child of the village, the dear children of the village will never sleep in peace as long as Bowser rules. I wish for nothing more than peace and a reason for my foe Koopas to hope, uh, hope again. Please, Mario, help us. And just like that, we are done with his side quest. That took a little bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, that took... 40 minutes for me overall, I think. And that was just because I had to run around and grab some things. I also had a little bit of an interruption. But yeah, that was uh, interesting. We now have a bunch of star pieces to spend, so I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna show buying. Oh, should I show buying them yet? No, I think I'm gonna cut. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna buy any yet. Instead, uh, for video's sake, I need to go up and I need to... What am I going to do? There's still some more things. I'm trying to decide the order of things I want to do. Okay. Pull out Goombario and we're going to come up here and we're going to do more dojo fights. We haven't done this in absolutely forever, so I hope you remember what we were doing here. Because I don't. <coughs> ah, Mario, welcome to our dojo. For what purpose did you come here today? Very well, I would fight you once more. This time I will hold nothing back at all. Do you believe you're ready? Oh, apparently we're in the last battle. I hope we're in the last battle. This would be an amazing thing to finish this video. The battle! And he becomes some kind of genie, super-powered Super Saiyan. Kwa! Behold my fury, Mario! Alright, I guess I'll just power bounce. Hmm, you have a great hidden strength of one clothed like a plumber. Problem? You hitting on plumbers? He is the master. He owns the dojo, and he's the strongest member. Max HP 99, attack power 10, defense power 1. May is, he may well know a few moves I've never heard of. We can't expect mercy from this guy, so let's, ta let's take to fight him. Dang, I failed. Yeah. That's half my HP. I forgot to equip and re-equip the defense badges. Um, I don't even have any good healing items on me. What to do? I think I'm gonna lose this battle. Um, I think I'm gonna do sleep. Lullaby, sleep time. See if it works. I don't know if this affects him, but I figure it might be a good uh, move. Nope, I fucked up then. I wasted the turn. And instead, I'll do multi ball. Oh my gosh. Now Mario's in peril. So, what was that about me never being in peril? Let's do smooch. Get myself 20 HP back. Fantastic star power to have in a battle like this. I. Yeah, Mario, survive this if you can! Yeah, there of us, no way. Hmm, you lack strength. You have skill, though, but please return here after you have trained some more. <coughs> yeah, I just had... I was... just had my rear end handed to me. So I'm gonna re-equip my badges, be right back. Attempt 2. Alright, my strategy is a little bit different this time. Um... I still have him uh, tattled from the last time, it doesn't kill you or anything, so that's fine. Now I'm going to do Cloud 9. To hide me for four turns. Makes it way less uh, chance to actually be hit. 
And in addition to that, I could do a Volt Shroom, or I can... I think I'm just going to go with the Power Bounce. As you might notice, I have one less power than last time, which honestly isn't that big of a problem for me. Yeah, I'm going to survive this if we can. Ow. You dick. You weren't... <sighs> okay. Let's see. I really wish this kind of thing would work on him. I cannot believe I'm actually trying it, but I'm actually trying a timeout on him. Let's see if we can put the master into timeout. Oh, it worked. For four turns. <laughs> okay. Uh... Let's hit him with a spiny egg, then. Honestly, that's actually an excellent strategy, then, if that works on him. Because I can deal at least 12 damage to him per turn. Also, just a minute. Black Swat, stop. I'm in the middle of recording, I can let you out of here to go grab some food and water in just a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, let's use Smooch. And another Cloud Nine. Boom. Now it's less chance of him hitting us. Again. Alright, um, let's try timeout again. If this works again, then I might be able to beat him. If not, then I'm going to say it's more than likely not. I'm not going to beat him. Nope. Unless he misses his attack this turn, I don't think so. Because I don't have the healing items to do this. Oh, and he misses. Alright, I have a chance. Let's see if I can do this. Down to 39. Let's hope he keeps missing, guys. Because this is our chance to beat him. If he can just keep missing. With the badges I have on. Now it is time that I stop being so merciful. Okay, only 7. I cannot believe I'm saying only 7 damage from an enemy's attack. Hmm, you have a good, uh... Alright, let's do a spiny flip again. I think I might be able to beat him. If I can deal enough damage. Now it's time to stop being so merciful. Alright. Um... Depending on my... Okay. Let's hope he doesn't use his most powerful thing. If he doesn't use his most powerful thing, then I have a chance. I have a chance. Now it's time to stop being so merciful. Yes! He missed! And with that, I win. I don't know why, but it seems incredibly difficult to actually do acting commands on him. After like the fourth one, it's just impossible. Hmm, <laughs> now Mario, you have bested me the master, the strongest of fighters. Since you have beaten me at my full strength, I will give you this with respect. The diploma, proof of Mario's strength, now Mario is the strongest. With that, we have beaten him. So guys, I'll be right back.
Alright guys, I'm back. I just wanted to check some things to see where I'm standing, and I think this is the point. Guys, that's... I don't know if I made this clear, but that enemy in there was actually the super boss of the game. He is the strongest enemy in the entire game, rivaling the most powerful form of Bowser, but being more powerful in it. And using our strategy, we just beat him, meaning that we're more powerful than Bowser, uh, the most powerful form of Bowser at this point. So, we're ready for the final area of the game, for sure. The problem is that, when looking at this, I realize that we still don't have all the badges collected, don't all have all the star pieces. So, here comes the final part of the game for me. Not for you so much, because it's just going to be one short, one or two short videos. But, here's where I start collecting. I'm going to have to spend the next few hours trying to get a few things. I'm going to have to be going after Chuck Quizmo time after time after time and record every single question and me answering every question. That will get me the rest of those start pieces. That's going to take a while for me. In addition to that, I'm also going to be having to go through and uh, pretty much making sure I have all the badges and everything because I have a feeling like I missed a star piece somewhere. I don't know where it is. I, if my count's right, then I'm missing a star piece. If it's not right, then I have them all, and it's not a problem. I just need to get Chuck Quizmo, and then I can buy the rest of the badges from uh, Merlot, all except one badge, one or two, that are up in the final area of the game. So guys, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario 64, we're going to be going on. We're going to actually know the next thing you guys are getting is doing Chuck Quizmo's quizzes. You're going to have a little fun video with that. It shouldn't take very long. For you guys, at least. So next time, in plot-related things, we're going to move on to Shooting Star Summit, meet with the stars, and deliberate what we're going to do about Bowser. I'll see you guys then.